Well, which flag we're using? <laughs> just uh, let's pick one and we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance first, and then I'll follow with a with just an opening prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Okay, I'll, I'll open with a word of prayer, and I'll just kind of do it like I do it at home. So, but uh, let's bow our heads and go to God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all of these who have showed up, all of these who are concerned about uh, issues and about America and the direction it's going. Uh, we just ask your blessings upon uh, those who are seeking work, that they will uh, be led to to get that job that they desire. We also uh, bow our heads today in, in reverence to those who have lost their lives serving our country. We pray that you will give a special blessing to those families and those men and women. We pray that you will give them comfort and we're so proud that they're doing what they're doing. So just bless this meeting. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Alright. Uh, you want? No, I don't. Uh, some of you might wonder why we're doing this here at this corner and in a parking lot. And if you're not familiar with this building behind me here, this was a church. And uh, Jupiter was having a lot of trouble with uh, illegals, uh, people trying to get jobs on Center Street. They were running out to cars. Uh, women would pull in to get their hair appointment. And if they had a van or a truck, a pickup truck, they'd jump in the back. Uh, had a kid in the back seat, they'd pile in their van with them. Uh, people would come out Sunday morning to go to church and have to drag a drunk off their driveway so they could back their car out. Uh, they were really getting harassed. So the town of Jupiter decided to look for a place where they could all congregate and uh, get a job and be picked up at one place instead of all along these streets. And lo and behold, <clears throat> this church they bought for $1.9 million taxpayer dollars and then spent another 100000 or more fixing it up because of the hurricane damage of a few years ago. So then they're so generous they decided to lease it for a dollar a year. There's a good return on your tax dollars. Uh, so what goes on here, you go in there and you register and depending on whether you speak English, you put your name in this box or this jar, just Spanish only in this one, whatever. And then contractors and people who want to hire them will come here and say what they need and they'll try to match you up and draw your name out of the hat if you're lucky and you get to go to work for that person for the day or whatever the job is. And all you need to register for that is some kind of ID that you live here in the city of Jupiter. Unfortunately, some homes on the other side, of, especially these homes on the other side of the school over here, uh, they'll get their water bill or their electric bill or something like that in the mail and it disappears on them. So they were coming in here and showing that as proof of where they live and they accept it. That's all the uh, ID you needed. And uh, I've called ICE myself and, and uh, asked them why they don't raid the place, but uh, they have to review it and so forth. We have that number on a big banner over there if you're wondering what that phone number is. But uh, the town council has been very uh, uh, <laughs> pro, obviously, pro illegal immigration, it seems like. So we have a real problem here in our town, but this is why we're kind of meeting here. Uh, you saw some people out on the streets earlier. Uh, we're here every Saturday from uh, 10 o'clock in the morning until noon. So if you're in the area or you can come out for a half an hour, an hour, we have signs, uh, or you can bring your own. And uh, we just want to remind them all the time, you'll see horns blowing, or hear them, I mean, uh, as, as the meeting goes on. But uh, that's really why we're here. So I'll turn, turn it back over to Joyce. Thank you. Thank you, John. Our